All right, welcome to my channel. Here I'm gonna just explain and show how I structure and utilize Uniswap concentrated liquidity pools to generate yield and how to use technical analysis, simple support and resistance to find levels where you can set your ranges on your liquidity pools. Uh, I'm just gonna give a brief overview of how to think as a liquidity provider. So here we go. So we got a chart of Bitcoin here. Let me just minimize that. And I got a weekly view up. For most of the year, pretty much all of 2023, market has been trending above this blue line. And this blue line is the 10 SMA. And I use the 10 SMA as a sign of momentum, which is very simple. I don't use any crazy technical indicators, right? I just use 10 SMA, MACD, uh, 200 SMA. You have to structure your liquidity pools to take advantage of that, right? You don't want to be hedging. You don't want to be uh, shorting the market, right? It's just making it more difficult on yourself to generate profits, right? You want to look at this as a multi-dimensional strategy, right? Where you're not only generating yields, but you're also looking to benefit from price appreciation. And as long as price is above this 10 SMA, for me, that tells me that I need to stay long in this market, right? This strategy could be different for you. You could have an 8 SMA, 8 EMA, 21 EMA, right? Like the idea here is to use your own strategy that you're confident and have conviction in to be able to run your concentrated liquidity pools around that. So you're not learning my strategy per se, because my strategy is tailored to me personally. And any trader out there will tell you that has been trading for a long time that your edge is simply developed from you, right? It's, it's a mix of different strategies that you've compiled and taken the best of and things that resonate with you and you compile them together into your own strategy that works for you. You know, it all ties into your time frame, your risk management, um, what assets you invest in, how you invest, how aggressive you are. So it all, all these variables have to fit for you and that creates your edge. Understanding here is that you're not learning what I do specifically. You're learning how to think as a liquidity provider in order to implement that into your trading strategy. Okay, so we're looking at Bitcoin here. It's been running most of the year. We broke down below the 10 SMA. This is telling me that momentum is slowing. At worst, you know, we could get some dips and drawdowns in the market. So far, we've been trading sideways. You're able to keep, keep your pools a lot tighter, drum up more yield, and just waiting for this opportunity here when things are trading sideways to really tighten things down. It's just telling me that we need a breather in this market. That's it. We've been trading sideways since March. This is a perfect time to just really drum up yields and generate and compound them. For the most part, what I see a lot of liquidity providers do, they sit out when things are uncertain. And as a liquidity provider, you want to be in when things are uncertain. You want to be in as, as much as possible. So you want to be able to be in the market and wait for opportunities like these drops here, like this here and this here, right? Because the volume picks up, right? And when volume picks up, that creates real, that's real transactions creating real yield. And the only way to get paid in Uniswap on their concentrated liquidity pools as a liquidity provider is to provide liquidity into the platform. You're only going to get paid when people transact on the pairs you're providing liquidity on. So if you're sitting out, like say this back in March, in early March, when this tanked, right? It didn't really tank, but it, you know, it had a significant drop, right? And you had a lot of volume here. If you weren't in during those times and you're trying to time the market and you, you only want to be in when things are calm or moving up, right? And you want to avoid these drawdowns, you're missing half the picture here. You're missing out on so much opportunity because as a liquidity provider, you got to get your mindset out of being a trader, right? You don't want to be a trader with a trader mindset in here, right? There, there is some aspect to trading here. Don't get me wrong. But what you're looking here, when you look at a liquidity provider and trying to take on that role, your role as a liquidity provider is taking the other side of that trade, taking the other side of the trade that nobody wants, right? When, when things are tanking here, Somebody has to buy the other side when everybody's panicking to get out. 
you say like a trader, for instance, they look at like this level here, like, oh, about 21.7. We're up here right now. If we get here, if we get below that, I need to stop out, right? A lot of traders would stop out because they don't want to, they don't want to hold through here. And I don't blame them. You don't want to hold through all this because there's no benefit for a trader to sit through this and incur those losses. There's no benefit. There's no payout for that, right? So they need to get out quick and fast and wait for the next opportunity to get back in. That's what a trader does. As a liquidity provider, you're looking forward to these moments where the high yield, the high fear, generating volume, getting that yield, really pumping out yields and high, you know, boosting those yields. Because those are the times when the yields really boost. And if you go back to say like last year in June, 2022, Throughout all this, there was so much yield being generated. I wasn't on, I was in primarily Ethereum USDC pools and I was seeing upwards of 800 to a thousand percent APR during this time. Now, when are you going to see 800 to a thousand percent APR on Ethereum in real yield? Not no Ponzi nomics, not no incentivized token, no inflationary token that you're getting paid out is real yield paid in Ethereum and USDC. You're not going to see it anywhere. During these times was the best time to be in the market. Now you have to understand like, okay, well, if I'm in the market during this time, but what, what am I doing about price going down, right? How am I protecting myself against that? You can protect yourself in multiple ways. You can, you can either structure your pools more, say like an Ethereum USDC pool. Let's go to Ethereum for a second, you know, go back to June here. And on Ethereum USDC, you can structure your pools to be more USDC heavy. Your delta exposure is not too high, right? So that means that as price moves, most of your liquidity pools in stables in USDC. So there's no price fluctuation in that portion of the pool. But as price goes down, you're starting to buy Ethereum, right? That's how it happens in liquidity pools. As price goes lower, you're accumulating more Ethereum. Your positions get starts getting larger and then you manage it, right? You're like, okay, well, I don't want to be overexposed in Ethereum. Let me, let me rebalance it. So you rebalance it, but you got to watch out for impermanent loss. Just make sure to check out my discord. You could join for free and you can, you can ask questions and I could address them and I can show you and, and make you understand how not make you understand, but show you how I control impermanent loss, right? And how I rebalance my pools. And whatnot. And you can go in there for free and ask questions. So say you had this drop all the way down. And if you rebounce too, t too tight in your liquidity pools, eventually this mean reversion back up, you're missing all that. And that's not what you want. And that's where a lot of liquidity providers end up getting double whammied, right? You're catching losses on the way down. You're not regaining those losses on the way back up and you're getting screwed over and you're depending on solely on the yield to pull you out of that hole, that, that loss, right? I mean, yes, you're earning 800, a thousand to a thousand percent APR, you know, and even down here, I was about break even when it was all said and done price got cut in half and I was about break even, which is amazing, right? All the yield generation, the proper pool structuring, right? Understanding the mechanics, being mechanical, not being emotional, and then waiting for this opportunity. Right. That's what you want. If you understand how to manage your risk and protect your capital in a liquidity pool, whether it's proper pool structuring, going more USDC heavy to DCA in, or you can even delta hedge, which means to short against your liquidity pool and cut out some of that delta exposure. If you understand how to manage your liquidity pools, then you're never going to be fearful in the market, right? You're waiting for high volume, high volatility. This stuff here, the sideways stuff that's been going on, man, it's a bore, right? We're getting like 20, 30% APR on Ethereum USDC, which is, which is still pretty good, right? That, you, you know, compared to traditional markets, getting 20 to 30% yields is, is amazing, right? But, you know, we're a little spoiled in crypto. But anyways, I digress. But just understanding how to think and really understanding 
you know, how to structure your portfolio to not only protect your capital, but also benefit from the yields consistently. And over time, as you're consistently in the market generating those yields, you will eventually come out top by the time the next bull run comes, right? You accumulate those yields, you do what you want, either you cash them out or you compound them. I suggest compounding because you can really stack and grow your bag and say this, say the bear market lasts for a year or another two years, right? You're just compounding and growing that bag. When it's time for the bull, you're ready to distribute. The bull market is time to distribute. It's not time to accumulate. Right now is the time to accumulate. And understanding that time in the market, it doesn't ring more true than it does for a liquidity provider. There was so much damage done in 2022 that a lot of people just don't want anything to do with crypto. There's a potential here that this move isn't done yet. Trending sideways, market looks healthy, no reason for me to get defensive here. And be responsible, right? Don't be a, a freaking degen about it, right? Just understand how to think as a liquidity provider. But you got to understand in permanent loss. Don't lock in too much in permanent loss if you're going to do that, right? Say say you're providing liquidity, staking it right down here. Price moves up here, starting to get out of range. People rebalance 50-50. Then say price moves back down. Oof, permanent loss, compounding. And if you get in that, if you get in that cycle where you're just compounding too much in permanent loss over time and you're depending on that APR to dig you out of that hole, it's just a never ending, it's a never ending, uh, chase. You will never, you just will never catch up over time. It's, it's just I'm not saying never. I mean, you might break even, maybe get a little profit, but if you look at one of my past videos, you know, I did a, I did a wallet review. And I do a lot of these wallet reviews privately. And what people do is they send me their public wallet address, right? They're in the Discord. They'll send, they'll DM me the public wallet address. We'll jump on a call and I'll go over their portfolio. I'll go over what they're doing wrong, you know, what's, what's going on. And this is what I show them. This is my own vault that I run for my members. This is this one right here? This is the one. This is my own vault that I run for my members. And you can see I control over here in column J, it shows how much the portfolio has been performing versus a HODL portfolio. So that's what impermanent loss is. So impermanent loss is your performance as a liquidity provider versus someone that HODLs their tokens. In this vault, I'm earning more than someone that just simply holds their tokens. I'm earning 3% more, 3.72% more than a hodler, right? Which is great, you know? And this is how much I'm estimated to earn if this performance continues over the course of a year, I will earn an extra $19,818 on top of the profits I've already earned here, right? Let me just kind of... So a lot of people say providing liquidity on Uniswap, it's a losing battle. And I'm here to say that it's not. If you understand the mechanics, understand how to manage your pools, how to lock in a minimal amount of impermanent loss to keep the pools in range. So I just want to put that out there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, feel free to join my Discord where I am happy to answer any questions regarding concentrated liquidity pools. We call ourselves the DeFi Coinosaurs, and we focus specifically on providing liquidity in concentrated liquidity pools and strategizing around that. Um, but yeah, feel free to join, check it out. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.